When you see success, you see a wheelchair or a guitar player, a paraplegic or a hiker, limited mobility or the desire to travel the world. Whatever your challenge is, whatever your barrier may be, one thing remains the same. Disability is only one part of who we are. At Grand Estate Independent Living, we know that with support and accessible environment and evolving attitudes, living a full and complete life is as possible as you want it to be. I was driving in the end of October, uh, about 8 o'clock at night, I came around a corner and there was a moose standing in the road. And so I slammed on my brakes to stop, but I took out his legs. He ended up falling on the roof of my car and it left me paralyzed from my neck down originally. I was injured uh, back in 1996. I was shoveling snow from the roof of my house and I happened to catch the edge as I was shoveling and went over and I landed wrong on my hip. I landed on my back on top of a um, a septic tank cover, cement septic tank cover. I climbed up a ladder on the roof, and did the very bad worst thing you could do, go win up with loose clothing on. So when I started, after I talked to one of them and started to come back down, it got caught on the ladder and when I reached over and pulled it up, the whole ladder went. I have spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, I'm visually impaired uh, due to albinism. So I grew up being angry and I grew up, you know, starting fights with people. My thing was always to get bigger, stronger, so I could fight people. The only thing medically I have is ADHD, so I hadn't got treatment or medication for it. So I was never paying attention and I barely went to school. I found this program through the school because they knew that I wasn't doing so well, which is GSIL. And I uh, came here and not only did I get the crisis I needed to move on to my senior year, but I also was able to, with the help of Doug, I was able to get a job. Right now, I'm trying to get my GED to become a doctor in neurology. I, I believe I only stayed out or called out from Earn and Learn twice throughout the whole program. I passed my pretest for the high set, which is the new GED. You know, without personal care attendance, I'd be in bed or in a nursing home. So I'm very fortunate. I'm not going to just be confined to my bed and um, have life be not fun. And so they showed, they were the first ones to show me that I can actually be independent as somebody with paralysis. My, my, since my injury, I, I don't let my disability stop me from doing things that I enjoy doing and it doesn't define me, if you will. I do love going to the trails because I was a hiker before, so being able to be out in the woods. The trails are close to home in Greenfield, the Crotch Mountain. There's a lot of good agencies out there that can get the needs met. Right away is where I got my van through, and then Voc Rehab I've gone through for the van, like the, and also uh, the chair. They've done some help on my chair and getting a new chair and things like that. So I've. I've gone through Voc Rehab. Right away, definitely. They help get my van. They're huge. And they always are willing to participate in WIM events, which is nice. I was exploring Voc Rehab, but I didn't really need it. Um, but it was good to know that there was something there be, to be able to turn to, perhaps, if, if that hadn't worked out for me at the other work. Uh, Voc Rehab, definitely. They have helped me go back to school and help me with some work stuff. I just went over to VR and fell out of things, said I wanted to work with Doug from Granite State, and that's what happened. <laughs> I believe it was one of the case managers at Health South that connected us in with Granite State. I think I've gone to the right people and gotten the right information. Just because you have an accident doesn't mean you can't live your life. I mean, you can still do a lot of things, that's for sure. I am stubborn slash determined. Well, I am successful.
with the gracious support of friends like you, GSIL has been able to break down the many physical, communication, and attitudinal barriers over the past 35 years that has improved access and opportunity for all. But our work is not done. It starts with the very culture and community that you take part in forming every day. Help us raise awareness. Listen to your neighbor. Extend a hand to those that may need it. Speak up at the New Hampshire State House. Support organizations and our partners who every day make a difference in the lives of others. By working together, the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness will be true for all.